Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we're going to be going through IXL 03 which is drawing lines of symmetry. So all this IXL is is a series of uh, shapes or objects and you are going to draw the uh, lines that make it overlap on itself perfectly when you reflect it. So uh, right here there the loaded line one for us and it looks like there is a line that goes through here because when you reflect that side over to that side, it does overlap perfectly. So from what I can see, there's no other line you can put anywhere uh, where it is going to overlap perfectly. So I'm going to click Submit. Okay. Now we have a W. We'll put a line right here through the middle. And there's no other point vertically we can put. And horizontally, there is no other point. So I think that's going to be it as well. Good. Draw all lines of symmetry for the shape. Okay, so we're definitely gonna put one through the middle there. Um, there's nothing we can do horizontally, and then there's nothing else we can do vertically. So I think that's gonna be it for that one as well. Okay, so we have, we're gonna cut that in half. Okay, and then there's nothing else we can do here. So all these have been one so far, kind of boring. Looks like it's gonna stay the same, so I'm gonna jump Okay, draw all the lines of symmetry for this keyword equilateral triangle, so all sides are the same. So we'll do this. So we're going to cut it in half that way, meaning we can also cut it in half this way, meaning we can also cut it in half this way. Right? Remember, uh, this, uh, this equilateral triangle has uh, three points of rotational symmetry as well, as in you can put a point here and rotate it, and it'll overlap on itself three times. Um, so we have the same amount of lines here. Go figure. Okay, draw all the lines of symmetry for the square. This is a square, meaning we have multiple. We can go diagonal. Okay, and you can see that overlaps. For a rectangle, that does not work. Okay, do not try to make that, uh, put the diagonal ones for a rectangle. For a square, it works though. Okay, and then we're going to do one across, and then we're going to do a vertical line. And that should be about it there. Okay, okay, right here, this is a rectangle. Again, a lot of students try to put a line right here. They do not. If you try to uh, reflect this side over here, the corner ends up being like up here somewhere, the corner ends up being like down here somewhere. It doesn't add up. So do not put that line, uh, do, do not try to put a line right there for reflection. Instead, I'm gonna move this toward the center. No, if I can get it to work. There we go. So we can definitely fold it like that, and then we can definitely fold it like that. So rectangles only have two lines of symmetry. Again, a lot of students uh, make that mistake, so just make sure you're not one of them. Okay, we have a plus sign, and I think that is, yeah, same thing, just a couple there. We get up to 96. Okay, draw lines of symmetry for this regular polygon. So this polygon, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sides, making it an octagon, meaning it's probably gonna have eight uh, different lines of symmetry. It looks like that's exactly in the middle and exactly in the middle. So assuming that is correct, we're gonna do the same for everything else. Put one there, add another one, put one here, add another one, put one here. That is going to be the corners, the corners, the corners, and then the corners. Let's try that out and see that is going to be correct. So uh, just make sure you count the sides and just like last time, count the sides, count the edges and uh, do it accordingly. So that's where I'm going to stop the video and uh, study hard, stay safe, uh, take it easy. See you later. Goodbye.